As a scientist at Roche, I specialize in cancer immunotherapy. My work and that of my colleagues is to figure out ways to stimulate the immune system to kill cancer. To understand this concept, let's talk a little more about our immune system and how it works. Taking a look inside our body, all of us are born with an immune system that acts just like the security checkpoint at the airport. Our immune system is like a high-tech full body scanner system that protects us from things that are harmful. In the immune system, T cells have receptors that scan cells to distinguish between normal cells and abnormal cells, like virus infected cells. Once detected, abnormal cells are attacked and removed by T cells. T cells also identify these abnormal cells for future recognition. The same T cells also play an important role in protecting us from cancer. Cancer cells are normal cells that have mutated. The more mutations cancer cells have, the more easily they are detected. Until recently, we didn't understand why T cells were detecting these cancer cells, but not destroying them. But on a closer look, we've made some revealing discoveries. We've learned that one of the ways that cancer cells get past the security system is with the help of a molecule called PDL1 that is found on the surface of cancer cells. PDL1 is almost like a disguise that allows cancer cells to remain undetected. PDL1 basically hacks the T cell scanning system by jamming the signal to parts of the T cell system called PD1 and B71. Think of PD1 as a sensor that's part of the T cell scanning system and B71 is like an alarm that issues an alert when something is wrong. When PDL1 hacks the system, it prevents it from doing what it's supposed to do. In other words, it prevents T cells from destroying cancer cells. We've been working on fixing this problem and have engineered a molecule that targets the PDL1 on cancer cells. It's kind of like a software update for your immune system. With this molecule in your system, T cells are able to detect and destroy cancer cells, leaving your healthy cells alone. We are committed to cancer immunotherapy so that we can continue to find new ways to use the immune system to treat cancer.